Sardali and Abbott stage their retreat. Rundal's momentum grows, and the pursuit is joined by Raldor and Shunak. Unaware, they march into a trap, carefully woven by Sadali. Rundal's forces are assailed by a horde of people gathered from across the land, followers of the Crystal Faith. Their overwhelming numbers begin to wear down the forces of Rundal, threatening to overrun them completely. Meanwhile, at Ova's castle, Mont and the forces of Leonis rest their wounded and weary bodies. Learning that Sodaly sent his followers into battle, Mont takes to the field. There, he encounters Jaden once again. Here. This is a surprise. I didn't expect this cathedral would continue underground. Just how far does this go? Is this Princess Luciel I see before me? You are correct. I shall be troubling your cathedral with my presence for a little while. May I ask, where does that door lead to? Sorry, but that door, where does it lead? We're not allowed to let anyone pass through here. So it is safe to assume there is something very important down there. Very well. I shall turn back then. Worry not. I have no intention of causing you any further trouble. There is something in there they do not want people to see, or something they cannot allow people to see. This is most intriguing. What is happening to him? The darkness nested in his body senses danger. Danger? Ah, so it rides in fear of us eradicating him. Monsters are springing from his mouth! The darkness now gorges itself on his life force to give birth to these vermin. Then, if it continues to do so, it will consume all of his life force and he shall perish. Oh, hell. What can we do to save him? First, we must exterminate the vermin. 
Then let's do it. Huh? They disappeared. What do you intend to do now? As I told you, his treatment will be a trying ordeal. Then you are going to try and remove the darkness implanted within Stern's heart? It cannot be deferred any longer. It must be done now. Stern's spirit will decide his fate, right? Mm. I have eradicated the radix of the darkness that subtly implanted. The radix? An entity that devours light and brings forth darkness in its place. So whilst the entity has been removed, there is still darkness remaining in Stern's heart? Indeed. As a result, he will have to live here on out, burdened by it. I see. <gasps> Wait! Where are you going? What is it now? Oracle, Chapter 25, Passage 1, The Hour of the Stag. The gleam which shines upon the stag's bed is nigh on being extinguished. Repel the darkness at once. Caution, do not eliminate the darkness. I repeat, Repel the darkness at once. What does this mean? That I must head for Rundal Castle. Wait! What about Stir? I leave him in your care. In my care? What do you expect me to do for him? If he cannot conquer the lingering darkness, after he awakens, slay him. What? Hey! hey! What are you asking me to do? From Horn. That we are! Salir, why are you here? Oh, so you remember my name. That's nice. I bet none of us expected to meet again like this. Those two are Melnia and Renel. They're with the Sanctum. <sighs> Melnia is good with her guns, but she's just run out of ammunition. But do not let your guard down. They're a deadly pair when they work together. Got it. To think they could color and crush Rundal's Calorum division like this. It was not just the Sanctum monks. There are a great number of what look like Rundal citizens among the dead here. Meaning that they likely use the civilians as a shield. 
It appears so. I guess they couldn't have pinned down Calorum unless they resorted to such loneliness. Watch your mouth. Do not let them provoke you. They want to enrage us so that we might show a moment of weakness they can utilize. My apologies, Lady Melnia. Melnia's composure is going to be problematic. So what do we do about it? We'll have to do as Lucia said, and divide and conquer them. Right. So let us see how they fare when we split them up. Brawl, you provide cover for Thalir. Understood. Be careful, Rages. Discussing how best to flee already? Lady Melnia. It appears my dear Melnia grows impatient as well. If you won't bring the battle to us, then so be it. Time to zap you to a crisp! How was that? I have her! Overhead! <laughs> Are you both all right? It was a close shave, but yes. Girl. Yes, Rages. You and Salir deal with Melnia. Very well. Girl? It is not that bad of a wound, but... But what? I do not think Melnia has shown us her true might yet. Despite taking the two of us on at the same time? Come on, you're just overestimating her. For our sakes, I hope you are correct. So then, what do you think her goal is here? That I cannot tell. However, I have the feeling she is looking for the right opportunity to do something. Melnia is gradually repositioning herself. Indeed she is. Is she working with her lapdog Rennell to try and attack us from both sides, or...? <laughs> Those guns Melnia threw down earlier are gone! Damn her. She's got her eyes on the ammunition we brought here. Salir! They're going for our ammo! Oh, crap! Time to die. You! <clears throat> this is the end for you. You shall interfere no longer. Burrell. Apologies for my late arrival. Steadfast Baral, ready for battle!
Lady Milnia. Do not waver, Renel. He is but another corpse to be left in our wake. Well, we shall see about that. Long time no see, Baral. I never imagined we'd be reunited in such a manner as this. What? Are you two old friends or something? Yes. A while back, I traveled to the East to undergo training. Though it only lasted for a short while. We both trained together under the same master, Seymour. Halfway through training, I had to return to Rundal, you see. But we got along surprisingly well. So much so, Baral even invited me to Rundal after I completed my training. I ended up falling in love with Lord Adelard and heading to Horn instead, mind you. <laughs> so that's what happened. Yes, my apologies. Not at all. It was Rundall's loss, but very much what I would expect from you. Lucia's wounds are deep. We should not prolong this battle any longer than we already have. Then we should go straight for Melnia. Not if I have any say in it. Grawl! Let us leave Melnia to Rachis and her long-lost friend, while we deal with Renel. How oh, is she still standing after all of this? I see. Such accurate marksmanship, accompanied by nimble movement and an inexhaustible supply of stamina. Now I know why Calorum struggled with this one. How do we deal with her? As I said before, prolonging this battle will only make matters worse for us. So how do you intend to... No, not that! You cannot be serious! You are the only one I can trust to do this, Rachis. What? Let us be quick about it. Foolish wretches. This is the end. You don't say! <laughs> Why, you? No, racist! I cannot! Rachis! Fine! You... What the heck did you go and do that for? Even if he was from Rundall, he was our friend on this battleground. <laughs> Did you just call me your friend? What the... How are you still alive after that? The answer to that is congenital analgesia. Congenital... what? It means my body has been unable to feel any pain at all since the day I was born. Furthermore, I do not experience any sensations of fear either. 
He can fight until he uses up all his strength without feeling pain or fear. And that is why he became dreaded as an unmovable foe, the Steadfast Brawl. But that only means you don't feel the pain. The damage is still there, right? <laughs> Precisely. But Rachis, in missing my vitals, also missed out on inflicting a fatal wound on Melnia. Sorry. I just could not bring myself to do it. It's not your fault. It was a rather big ask. But it doesn't mean I cannot finish her! Huh? What the? I ran her right through. She did not even blink! Could it be she too is immune to pain? I learned from Lady Melnia. Learned what exactly? That pain is merely subjective. Oh please! Pain is just that! It hurts! You don't just imagine it! Silence, you ignorant little girl. I imagine that Lucia is also well-versed in these matters. It is possible to experience pain as pleasure. And thus, I trained for that. I showed her that pain is a deception, and eliminated it along with every other unnecessary emotion. As a result, to fill the void left by those missing emotions, Renown seeks only to bring me happiness. And you are okay with that, Renell? Naturally. <sighs> Be that as it may, Lady Melnia, I think it is time we moved on. Are you telling me to retreat? I... I would never. I mean, it does not aid us to waste any more time in this place. There is also the possibility that Jaden's head might be taken by someone else. You are right. Hold it right there! Our backs are turned to you. If you wish to take our lives, then by all means, try. Assuming you do not fear your own death. It pains me to say it, but I guess this battle is over. It seems so. What shall we do with the survivors from Rundall? I guess we can't just leave them here. Let's move them back to Ovis Castle. Whilst Baral might not mind that, Lucia probably will. Just give her wounds a friendly squeeze. I'm sure she'll cooperate. Besides, now is not the time for Horn and Rundle to be fighting. Even Lucia should understand that much. So, these are the followers that Lord Sodaly brainwashed, huh? Apparently, they're merciless to those who oppose Lord Sodaly. Oh, how pitiful. They're so far gone, they don't even realize their service will go unrewarded when they lose their lives out here. Hey! They might hear you! I don't care if they do! They aren't even human anymore. They're nothing more than tools. <laughs> well, you're not wrong there. <laughs> hey, Lumeda, check this out! 
No, you better get up and get a move on. You wouldn't want to keep Lord Sodily waiting now. <laughs> Hey, you two! Why don't you pick on someone who can put up a fight? Have you no shame? Kicking the defenseless while they're down. Who are you supposed to be? Well, if you don't know, then allow me to inform you. I am the great Lord Camilo, defender of the downtrodden. You might want to write that down. Are you trying to be funny? Because it isn't working. But if you're begging for a beating, then you're in luck. We can give it to you in full. Blackwit, getting carried away as always. I shall go to his aid. No, Elzerel. I shall go. But, Your Highness... There is no need for concern. Leave it to me. King Mond holds Camilo in high regard. Surely you jest. <laughs> Why the surprise? Because Camilo is not that great an example of a man. Be honest now, Elzaral. Deep down, you know what I'm talking about. Camilo is not just some spoony soldier playing at being a hero. He was put to the test in Heimler, and managed to crawl his way up and out of there. His efforts are beginning to blossom in this war. Once his heart catches up to his bravado, he'll likely become a man we can rely on. King Mont said so himself. Beginning to blossom, huh? Hmm. You know, I recognize your face from somewhere. <laughs> Seems like my reputation finally precedes me. Yes, yes, it is I, the famous Lord Camilo. Oh, I remember now. You must be that guy from Heimler. <sighs> yeah. I heard about some wimp who hightailed it because he couldn't handle the heat. Shut your trap! What would you know? I opened my eyes and you know what I found? True love! For someone all on their own, you certainly talk yourself up. Hey, Lamega, let's give him a nice thorough stomping. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Once we get started, you'll be begging for us to put you out of your misery. D do your worst! <sighs> Damn, you two put up quite the fight. What's the matter? Growing tired already? Perhaps he's holding back because... <gasps> I'm a lady. Nah, I doubt that's it. We're villains of considerable infamy, aren't we? The self-proclaimed defender of the downtrodden couldn't possibly let the likes of us off the hook now, could he? Huh? So you're telling me that's his best effort? And he has the gall to call himself the defender of the downtrodden! <laughs> I will abide no further insult to those who throw away self-interest and fight for the people! <sighs> hmm. 
here to steal the stage now that I've warmed up the crowd, are you? Well, well. Looks like we've stumbled upon quite the catch. King Mott of Leonis. Oh, I get it now. You fled the heat of Heinler's training to the lukewarm backwater of Leonis. You think Leonis is lukewarm? Boy, you two really have no idea, huh? Keep on yapping. Consider yourselves warned. Your empty threats mean nothing to us. If we were to claim Mont's head and deliver it to Lord Sodaly... I'm pretty sure we'd be given whatever reward we wanted. Camilo. I don't like the idea of sharing the stage with you. But it's better than letting anything happen that could sadden ma Cherie. <laughs> I am counting on you, Camilo. Damn it! Those visions are in the way! I've lost track of Camilo! Crap! Where'd he go? Well done, Camilo. <laughs> I'm not usually the type to go all out like that, but... Oh well. You won't get away with this! Next time, you'll pay with your life! Well, that was some warm-up. Let us make haste to Sodaly. Right. Let's take him down with the rest of his hallowed sanctum. yourself too hard, Lady Melnia. Even you have your limits. Do you belittle me? No, I would never. <sighs> These trifling wounds and pain are but fleeting. They will soon mend. The reason I left the last battleground was because I feared for you. You did that for me? Because you do not feel pain, you do not know your own limits. If you had continued to overexert yourself, you would have met your end. Thus, I had us withdraw. For my sake. Are you dissatisfied? No, I am honored. Allow me to tend to your wounds immediately. I already told you, there is no need. But, my lady... Wounds such as these will heal on their own. <sighs> Do you think it's strange? No, my lady. 
It was this strength that drew me to you. For only you can undo this depraved world with your overwhelming power, Lady Melnia. And that is why I... I will sleep for a short time. I suggest you do the same. Yes, my lady. Do you feel it? The energy swelling up from the earth, closing our wounds and stopping our bleeding, providing us with vitality. When we awaken, Jaden's demise will be imminent.